Hi, Exa. Good morning. Hi, teacher. Good morning. Morning. How are you? I'm fine because it's Friday. I know. <laughs> Me too. It is Black Friday. Yeah, it's Black oh. Friday. Right. I'm ready to search all offer that if I have money, <laughs> you would buy. buy. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's nice. Very good. Interesting. Very good. Hi, Sophia. Good morning. Hi, good morning. How are you today, Sophia? I am fine. All right, that's nice. Very good. Just give me a second. Okay. All right, very good. Yeah, it's true. But are you like guys not planning or are you planning to go anywhere today or not really? Mm, not really. All right. Because I try to to no contact with people. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. I totally agree with you. <laughs> yeah. Very good. So at this point, Exa, you're working from home. Yes. Right. Yes. Okay. You never go to the office or sometimes you go? Uh, just one time. Okay. Right. But, well, I met with Franklin there's Okay. Because we have to a car okay ah. a car, yes, uh, for the parking right okay all right okay and just for that okay that's nice <laughs> now do you want to go back exa to the office or you like like home office kind of job i like home office because yeah. in my house like i can eat all <laughs> that i want <laughs> all right yeah okay very good. Yeah, I guess some jobs, they suit perfectly with the home office new um, I trend, I guess, right? Yeah. Some, some, of, some others are a little bit more difficult, but I think, I don't know, maybe next year some things are going to remain home office and some things are going to go back to like office, normal offices. Yeah, but I prefer home office. Yeah, I like it too. <laughs> I don't mind it. I avoid traffic and that's very, very good. Yeah. The traffic is horrible anyway. Very good. Hi, Eli, Franklin, good morning. Carlita, Beatriz, and Vero, morning. how are you? Good morning. Good morning, teacher. Excellent. Very good. So are you girls planning to go like shopping on Black Friday? Please say no. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. All right. Maybe online. Maybe online, Carlita, that's, be that's better, you know? Online, it's okay, I guess. Then you can go pick it up after, or they can drop it at your house, but don't yeah, go but, to... Mm -hmm. But no for Black Friday, because it's a, it's a, a, very, a very clear light. <laughs> I know, totally, yes. yes. <laughs> you know what, it is a light here. I mean, the discounts are not like very, very big, if there is any. But for example, in Canada, in the States, it is real. I mean, the discounts are huge, all right? And some people actually like fight over it because they do really have the Black Friday. Here, mm. we even have the Black November. That's, that's silly. I mean, it's the whole month. I mean, what happened? There is only one day. <laughs> so in Canada and in the States, it's, it really happens. You know, you have very, very good discounts and everything. And people like, because it's only one day, people like that, you know, because they have the opportunity to go and buy and stuff. But here is like, beautiful. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm kidding, right? But anyway. Yeah. Well, it depends because in some place, yeah, it's real. Yeah. The, the, the top, the, well, the, the key for this is uh, check the price. Mm -hmm. uh, the previous price? Two, two months ago. Right, yeah. You can check the the really Black Friday. Yeah, all right. Yeah, there are some, I mean, some, I think there are more places now that they are like um, actually doing some good discounts and everything. But again, I mean, you know, but right but yeah, now. Because, 
Yesterday I buy uh well, I bought a uh, a game online. Okay, so all right. yes, and it was uh, cheap. Forty nine cents. Are you serious? Yeah, no kidding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you see, guys, Black Friday. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes. yeah. I guess it would depend on what you're also buying, all right, and where you're buying it and stuff. But yeah, I mean. It's it's good. I'm gonna, you know what? I just remember I have a story about Black Friday, and like what, like why is the name? Do you know why the name it is? Do you know why they it's called Black Friday? No, no. It's like no, actually no, no, no. You know what? Maybe like today I'm gonna share it with you so you guys read it. Okay, it's interesting. It's it's. I mean, it's a, it's a story about how black friday came about all right so we're gonna talk about that that's fun all right very okay. good guys thank you for being in class this is friday all right we have one more class before i mean after this one so i'll see you monday and we're done for the year all right so that pretty much is it for us now with that in mind i want to remind you that you need to finish the platform this weekend all right so Please work on it. If you are finished, congrats. All right, super and very nice for that. If you are not, then I please ask you to like finish it over the weekend. All right, so Sunday, I'm gonna be checking for everybody to have finished. And if not, I'm gonna be texting you. If you don't receive a text from me, it's because you are safe on the good side. <laughs> All right, but yeah, we need to uh, check on that. And then um, Monday is just like a review of everything. All right, so that's gonna be Monday because today we actually finished the topics for this, the section five. All right, so I'm gonna take you right now, guys, to the, um, hold on, to the uh, video that is on the platform just to see the vocabulary that we have there. And then I'm gonna talk to you about the topic that we need to talk about today. All right, so here is, uh, this is 5.6 vocabulary and it's called antonyms. Remember the other day we were talking about synonyms? All right, antonyms are the opposite of um, the words. So for example, if I say good, what is the antonym of, uh, of what is the antonym of good? I just said it. <laughs> but. <laughs> but, right, very good, thank you. All right, if I say fast, what is the antonym? Slow. Slow. Slow, right? Very good. So here we have a couple guys. So here we have accept, admit, agree, borrow, deny, disagree, dislike, divorce, enjoy, find, I think it's regret the other one. Let me just see it. Uh, I can't remember what it is. Hold on, there. All right, so here we have, yeah, find, forget, lend, lose, marry refuse remember save and spend all right just by looking at this list guys do you understand all of the words are there any of the words you might not know borrow okay borrow is when i give you something for example you say ah oh, jessica can i borrow your book and then i give it to you like press that mm -hmm. Denny? Ah, uh, deny. Very good, Randy. Deny, uh, deny. Yeah, deny is when I don't accept something. For example, I did something wrong, and then you tell me, Jessica, you did it. I'm like, no, mm -mm, I didn't do it. No, no, no. I'm in denial. Or when, like, negar, you know, when someone dies, some people deny the truth or the fact that someone is gone. They don't want to accept it. So deny is not to accept something. All right. Very good. Lend. Excellent. Lend. Lend is the um is like the antonym of borrow. You borrow it, I lend it to you. All right. So you say, Jessica, okay. can I borrow? And I say, Yeah, sure, I will lend it. All right. So you uh you ask and I give. All right. So that's lend. Very good. The other one? Someone said something else, I think. Refuse. Uh, refuse. Where is it? Uh, refuse is when you don't accept something. All right. When you're like, uh, I refuse to do this. Okay. I refuse to, I don't know, to go to the office and work because I don't want to get sick. I refuse. I don't want to. All right. Very good. Another one. Or oh, that's it. 
That's it. All right, very good. So here we have, just make sure that about the pronunciation. So we have accept, admit, agree. Remember when you say agree, you don't say I am agree. That's in Spanish. That's estoy de acuerdo. Don't do the translation, okay? You just say I agree or I disagree. All right, I borrow, deny, disagree, dislike, divorce, enjoy, find, forget, lend, lose, marry, refuse, remember, save, and spend. All right, now, Ely, we have number one done for you. It says accept and refuse. What about admit? What would be the antonym for admit, guys, or Ely? Maybe dislike. Mm, okay. All right. I, I'm, I'm, yes. Okay. Disagree. Dis okay, maybe. All right. But, Another but one. Uh -huh. agree this, this here. Yeah. So I think disagree goes with agree. I agree and you disagree with me, right? So maybe agree and disagree, they got together. What about admit then? Any other one when you do when you don't accept something besides um, refuse deny. 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 deny 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 very good yes all right so you say yeah I admit I did something wrong and then I deny I did something wrong all right I'm never gonna accept it all right let's see um what about borrow what is the antonym of borrow guys frankly what is it for you guys to wake up <laughs> all right uh borrow i know what about borrow what is the antonym of borrow lend lend yes very good all right very good uh deny we already said disagree dislike the antonym of dislike Well, like but yeah like would be all right yeah like would be one very enjoy. good enjoy very good yes from the ones that we have on the uh chart it's enjoy all right i enjoy ice cream i dislike fish which is very true i don't like fish all right very good what about find oh no sorry divorce sorry divorce happy Mary. 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 very good all right very good uh find Lose. 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 Very good. Yes. Forget. Remember. 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 Very good. Uh, we have, oh, nice. Uh, what about save? That's the last one. Spend. 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 All right. So you save money or on Black Friday, you spend money. All right. Very good. So those are the antonyms. All right. So here we can say, I mean, it's very good not only to know synonyms like we did the other class, like a synonym, remember, is like a word that has a, a very related meaning, all right? But in this case, you need to know what is the antonym of any word, all right? Because most of them have the, uh, their antonyms, all right? So if you want to say, you know what? I was talking about politics with, um, I don't know, Brenda, and she disagreed with me because I, you know, whatever. So disagree is the opposite of the antonym of agree. So you need to know those antonyms, all right? So that's very, very important for you to know. All right, very good. I just wanted to go over this because of vocabulary and if you guys understood this, all right? What I want you to do with this in mind, I want you to choose a pair. Like for example, if I say um, accept and refuse, all right? Just choose one pair and make a sentence. One of them using accept and the other one using refuse. So you can check, you can check, uh, or you can um, choose any pair, for example, save and spend, find and lose, forget and remember, and make a sentence, one with forget and the other one with remember. Can we do that right now? Yeah, can you write them right now? And then I'll give you like one minute or two, and then we can share your sentences. Okay. Thank you.
Guys, give me one second, okay? I'll be back. Just give me one second, please. All right, guys, sorry. Finished? Were you able to finish? No, yet. All right, okay, let me know. Oops, sorry. All right, let's see. Uh, let's try to see if we have finished. All right, let's see. Franklin, can you tell us your sentences using these antonyms, please? Franklin? Franklin. <laughs> All right, Sophia, do you want to begin? Sorry, DJ, I speak in a mute. Oh my goodness, Franklin, that's okay. All right, so Franklin, tell us your sentences and then Sophia, you're next. I accept the, the new job, but the salary, the salary. Okay. All right, so you accepted the new job and you refused the salary. Uh, yes. Uh, All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. All right, Sophia, do you have your sentences ready? Yeah. Okay. I I don't want marry if next I gonna 
divorce. <laughs> oh my goodness, Sophia. Nobody wants that, right? Very good. Thank you. Excellent. Can you tell us your sentences? Good, Sophie. Uh, I I agree with others to study online English, but I disagree when no activator comes. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's very good. All right. Yeah, it's hard like that. Verito, Veronica, can you tell us your uh, sentences? Okay. Is today I, I forget the case to the house, but I remember that my husband has a copy. Oh, the key, the key, very good, the key of your house. Thank you. Nice, uh, that happens a lot. Um, Araceli, what about your sentences? All right, Ileana, oh, Araceli, yeah, please, thank you. Uh, but I don't finish that. <laughs> so you, you can uh, tell us a little later, very good. Ileana, can you tell us your sentences, please? Yes. John admits that lost his keys because I deny it was my fault. Oh my goodness, Ileana, you're mean. <laughs> <laughs> All right, very good. Carla Beatriz, can you tell us your sentences? Okay. Um, my brother remembers all his all his childhood but i forget some details about mine oh very good carlita that's a very nice sentence thank you all right carla joana can you tell us your sentences hello good morning good morning I come back thank you <laughs> i recuperate my my cell phone oh you got it back very good joana thank you uh, uh, i enjoy the the drama but my sister dislikes Oh, okay. All right. I see. Very nice. Very good. Giovanni, good morning, Giovanni. I didn't say good morning. All right, Giovanni, can you tell us your good sentences? Morning. Yes, I like watch movie, okay. but I dislike watch series. Oh, my goodness. All right. Okay. Very good. Interesting. And Gabby, can you tell us your sentences, Gabby? Hi, teacher. I'm sorry, but I don't, I don't finish because the light, uh, I bueno? have problem with, oh. the, with the computer. Oh, okay. I am connected off my cell phone. Okay, all right, that's okay, that's okay, Gabby. I don't know, um, thank you. What about Araceli, did you finish or you need more time? Uh, okay, I finish. Okay. <laughs> um, <clears throat> She forget her back in the in the office, but uh, she remember by the tour cat this morning. Very good. All right, nice. <laughs> Just for Thanksgiving, right? Well, that was yesterday. Very good. Nice. All right, guys. Very good. You see, everybody got this. Yay! You tried really hard. Well done. Super. Thank you for doing that. All right, very good, guys. So I'm gonna stop sharing this right now. Okay, so now I'm going to take you to the last topic of the platform, which is past models, all right? So this is what we're going to see today. This is the very last grammar topic. Again, I'm going to go through it, all right? And then Monday, which we have the very last class, we can still think, uh, talk about it and see what if you have any more questions. But right now, I'm going to walk you through the explanation, all right? This is the last topic, 5.8 on your platform, past models for opinions and suggestions, all right? So here we have, can you guys see, yeah? Can you guys see this, yes? Teacher. Yes. yes. Teacher. Yes, Carlita. Sorry. Okay. Uh, could you send the presentation <laughs> that yesterday, <laughs> that yesterday yes. you? <laughs> yeah, I said I will send it today. Yes, Carlita. You know what? Oh I my heard? God, teacher! <laughs> I'm sorry, Carla, but you know what happens though. After your class, I have a university class. All right. Yes, I so know, like, I go from one class to the next, and I forgot. I'm sorry, okay. but I will send it. <laughs> I will send it. All right. So this one: past models for opinion and suggestions. All right. Here. When we talk about um, models of suggestions or advice or opinion, we also talk about if the name can change to models of lost opportunity, right? So when you hear models of lost opportunity, they are the same 
as models for suggestion and opinion, all right? Why do you think that that is? Why do you think sometimes they are called models of lost opportunity? Do you guys have any idea? Anybody? No? <laughs> No. All right, okay. They're called models of lost opportunity or for suggestion and opinion because they describe exactly what it says here, a situation when we are imagining the past was different, all right? That is why it's called lost opportunity because it didn't happen that way. You lost the opportunity. You lost the chance of doing something or of saying something, okay? So that's why you can say, oh, the models of lost opportunity or the models of suggestion and opinion. I give you an opinion, but maybe it's too late. All right, you already did something. All right, or you already said something. So you lost the opportunity or I lost the opportunity to have changed the past, all right? Or to have changed the situation. How do we make these models of lost opportunity or suggestion and opinion is this, using should have, could have, and would have. That is why they're called past models, all right? You can say should, could, and would in the present, all right? But if you use should have, could have, or would have, they refer to the past. And they refer not only to the past, but they also refer to a situation where you wish it were different, all right? But it's not, it's too late now, okay? Now, before we go on to this, I want to remind you the difference between should, could, and would, okay? In, in present, let's say. And you will see that they, um, their meaning is the same, or their usage is the same in past, like, becoming a, a lost of a, a model of lost opportunity so here we have should for example um Eli, can you read should the general rule this is the general rule for the usage the usage of should Eli, can you read it please okay should for recommendation advice mm -hmm. if you want to lose weight you should eat healthy food very good all right next one Eli, please okay good for possibilities mm -hmm. i have the day of tomorrow day of tomorrow great we could spend the day at the beach or we could go shopping mm -hmm. all right and the last and one. good for imagining results mm -hmm. if i were rich i will buy a boat. a boat very good that's why we use that word a lot on the unreal conditional remember that we were talking about yesterday now, these are the general rules. Right now, we're not using the past models yet. I'm reminding you when to use should or how to use should under what um, circumstances we need to use should. The same thing for could and the same thing for would. I'm reminding you that should, we use it a lot for recommendation and advice. You should study more. You should, um, I don't know, you should go to bed early. You should eat uh, vegetables. Uh, the baby should, um, I don't know, should learn to speak or whatever by listening to music or whatever, all right? So we recommend and we give advice, we suggest, all right? Now, could we talk about possibilities? I could do it if I had the time. All right, or I could like learn how to um, drive. All right, could for possibilities and would for imagining results. All right, now remember these are the general rules. Right now, we're not talking about the past models or the models for lost opportunity. These are the general rules on when to use should, could, and would. Any questions about this right now? This topic is very sad. <laughs> Why? <laughs> because you lost the opportunity? <laughs> yes. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm like, oh no. All right, yeah. Okay, now, 
This is what happens here. Someone to read this for me, please. Can someone read this for me? Thank you. The same general rule applies when using should have, could have, and will have for imaginary past situations. Excellent, all right, so thank you. What it's saying here, the rules we just saw on the previous slide, all right, uh, they are the same rules for, or when we use these past models or for the models of lost opportunity, using should have, could have, and would have for imaginary past situations, all right? So all of them together, they can express suggestions, opinion, advice, but they are just for imaginary situations because you cannot change what happened, all right? The result is done with, okay? Here, should have plus past participle. This is how you make it, all right? This is how you're going to use should have when you when you want to suggest or give your opinion or give your advice in a lost opportunity situation you need to use should have plus past participle all right let's see someone to read this one for me can mean can mean sometime uh, that word that would have been a good idea, idea? Mm -hmm. Uh, but but that you deal didn't do it. Mm -hmm. It's like giving a, advice about the past when you say it to some to someone else. All, else else uh, or regret regretting regretting uh, what regretting uh -huh. uh, what you did or didn't to when you you are talking about yourself. Very good. Thank you, Franklin. So here, when am I going to use should have plus past participle? All right. You're going to use it when you want some or when you want to mean something that would have been a good idea, but you didn't do it. For example, you say, I should have learned English when I was little, but you didn't do it. You're learning English now. Maybe you regret it because when you learn English when you're younger or when you're a kid, it's easier for you to understand it. Right, so you regret something that happened here, or you can say, for example, uh, I don't know, to a friend, you should have um, again, you should have learned English before. Now it's very difficult for you because you have no time, because you're married, because you have a family, you have a job. So, like, you give an advice here, you should have, but they didn't. All right, okay, so either they regret it or not. Let's see, should have plus past participle means that something wasn't, shouldn't, this is a negative, means that something wasn't a good idea, but you did it anyway. So this is the opposite. Here we're saying you should have studied English. All right, you should have learned English, but you didn't do it. Here is you, um, you did it and it was not a good idea, but you did it anyway. I should have studied harder. You didn't study very hard, so you failed the exam. I'm sorry about this now, all right? So you can say, oh no, I shouldn't, um, I shouldn't um, come back from Canada, but you did, you came back, you're here, all right? So that's, you know, if, even if you regret it, that's too bad, you already did it anyway. I should have gone to bed early. I didn't go to bed early and now I'm tired, all right? And that one is like the opposite, all right? I shouldn't have eaten so much cake. I did eat a lot of cake and now I don't feel good, all right? So you're regretting that you did it. You should have called me when you arrived. You didn't call me and I was worried. I wish that you had called me. All right, so if you notice here, we're like using, um, whoops, we're using either um, should have or shouldn't have, depending on what you, what you want to express, all right? John should have left early. Then he wouldn't have missed the plane. 
but he didn't leave early and he did and he did and he did miss the plane so the plane is gone and he stayed all right so this is when you use should have plus past participle or shouldn't have plus past participle all right any ideas so far about this guys or any questions no okay very good no okay in case you do let me know all right should have you use uh you should have to say that a different action hold on i can read it here uh was recommended in the past if you arrive late to english class or oh, know the light again you can say i should have left my house earlier if you regret an argument you can say so here we're talking about like the usage of this all right so here uh, you can also you should have or shouldn't have to tell other people about different actions in the past would have been better. If your son fails a test, you can say you should have studied. You shouldn't have played video games all weekend. All right, now he failed the test or he failed the grade. Oh no! All right, so you're like you know you're giving that you know you said you should have. Now don't don't do you know there is a saying that says don't cry over spilled milk. Do you understand that saying? It's an idiom. Do you understand that one? It says don't cry over spilled milk. All right, it's like don't regret it. It's done. Ya no llore, ya pasó. All right, it's an idiom that you, when someone says to you, oh, I should have done this, and you say, yeah, don't cry over spilled milk. Like, no llores sobre la leche derramada, ya se derramó, it's too late. All right, so you say that, okay? Very good, that's an idiomatic expression. Very good. Okay, let's continue here. Would have plus past participle. Someone to read this one for me. Out of the third conditional. Whoops, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. What happened, what did I do? Uh -huh, sorry. <laughs> will have plus past participle. Mm -hmm. One, part of the third conditional, if I had had enough money, I will have bought a car, but I didn't have enough money, so I didn't buy a car. Two, because will and will can also be used to show if you want to do something or not, believe Volition. Volition. Mm -hmm. Volition. We can also use will have plus past participle to talk about something you want to do but didn't. This is very similar to the third conditional, but we don't need an if clause. An if clause. Very good. Okay. Number one here, don't worry about it too much because right now we're not talking about the third conditional. Remember I told you the other day that in English we have four conditionals. The third one or the last one is the most complicated one. And we usually use this one, would have plus past participle, all right? So here, if I had, remember the conditionals, they usually begin with the if clause. If I had had enough money, I would have bought a car. That's like a little bit like complicated for the third conditional, but we're not studying third conditional right now. We are gonna focus on this one right here would and will can also be used to show if you want to do something or not we can also use would have plus past participle to talk about something you wanted to do but didn't we talk about right now what i want you to concentrate on is from here from where it's after the comma it says we can also use would have plus past participle to talk about something you wanted to do but didn't this is very similar to the third conditional but we don't need the if clause. We have to omit all this part here. I would have, I don't know, I would have told you, I love you, all right? Very romantic here, all right? I would have, but I didn't, all right? I didn't do it, okay? Would have, you would have to imagine a result. If something had been different in the past, if you arrive late at the airport and miss your flight, you can say, if he had arrived earlier, we would have caught our flight. If you forget your um, if you forgot yeah if you forget your umbrella and it starts to rain and you get wet you can say if I had brought my umbrella I wouldn't have gotten wet wet in the rain all right so we have all those um, examples here all right 
would have expresses more certainty about the result than could have. If I had worked harder, I could have gotten a promotion. Maybe I get a promotion, but maybe not. On a test where you need 70% to pass, I got a 68 on the test. If I had gotten two more points, I would have passed. With the two points, passing the test is certain. So this one, guys, will help you understand when you say, okay, but when can I use would have and when can I use could have, all right? So you may use would have when something is more certain than could have, all right? So would is a little bit more certain than could, all right? So that is the difference between those two, okay? I think someone has something to tell me here. I need a minute, teacher. Okay, Kalita, that's fine, thank you. All right, let's continue here. Could have, someone to read these ones for me? Me, uh, could have. Yeah, go ahead, Kalita, and then Giovanni can continue. I mean, Giovanni, Exa. <laughs> Use could have to talk about possibilities. If something has been different in the past, for example, someone who didn't go to college can say, if I had gone to college, I could have gotten a better job. When talking about a gymnast who didn't win a competition, you can say, she could have won the gold medal if she had, had, had hadn't. hadn't. hadn't Fallen three times. All right, very good. Okay, so here, those are like the examples that we're using. Um, Exa, can you read this one for us? Who have is often used with if plus have plus past participle. If I had gone, if she hadn't fallen, this if phrases express the imaginary past situation. However, in some case, you can use could have without the if phrases. Imagine you are driving with a person who makes a dangerous maneuver. Maneuver. Maneuver, mm -hmm. maneuver on the road. You can say, are you, are you racing? We could have gotten into an accident. Right, very good, thank you. So here, um, like previously to this, we have been seeing examples using if, 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 but you can also use it without the if, and they are giving you an example right there. Are you crazy? We could have gotten into an accident, okay? We could have, I don't know, had a fight or something. So you may not only use it with the if clauses, but also just like normal sentences using could have, all right? Plus the past participle. You won't lose the past participle in these, like for would have, should have, and could have, you need to use the past participle of the verb when they follow it, all right? In a spoken English, Many people say should of, could of, would of. All right, you don't say should have, could have, would have. You say should of, could of, would of. That is like the spoken English or the pronunciation of, of it. Thank you, Carlita. All right, you're back. Okay. So this is like when you, when you're talking. For example, in this one, on the previous example here, it says, "Are you crazy? We, we could have gotten into an accident. Could of." All right, gotten into an accident. Instead of saying, we could have gotten. All right, we could have gotten into an accident. All right, that's when we speak it, or should have. You should have studied English when you were younger. Uh, we would have done this before, but we couldn't, okay? So the, the spoken English is very important also, because sometimes we expect to hear should have, could have, would have, but sometimes we're not gonna listen to that. We're gonna listen to contracted forms, all right? I'm not going, we're not gonna do this right now. I'm gonna leave this for Monday, all right? Because I wanna share the, the, um, the reading about the Black Friday because of the context, today is Black Friday. Well, I'm gonna look for it right now. Do you, have, do you guys have any questions about what we just talked about? Remember on Monday, we're gonna review it again anyway, all right? Do you have any questions about that? Teacher. Yes. And this topic, no, enter the must have. Yeah, you must have done it, but that is more like, um, also like, um, how do you call it? 
an obligation more than a, a suggestion. All right, I think that's the biggest difference. You can use it, but the thing is like, when you use must, they talk about more like um, an obligation more than a suggestion. And right now we're trying to give suggestions more than obligations, all right? Okay. I think that is like the biggest thing. You can use it, all right? But it's a little bit different because, um, hold on, because it's, we're not, I mean, we want to give, we want to give a suggestion or advice or opinion more than you have, you, you know, like more than an obligation. Okay. All right. Very good. Anybody else? No. All right, guys, I'm gonna share this with you right now. It's the story about Black Friday because we are on Black Friday today, all right? So it says directions, read the following passage and answer the questions that follow. Refer to the text to check your answers when appropriate. We're not gonna have time to do the, um, the questions, but I want you to read this for me, all right? So um, let me see, Exa, can you read paragraph number one, please? Day after that giving, giving. Thanks. The day the, after. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna make it bigger so you guys can see it better. There. Sorry. Okay. Begin. Uh, the day after that giving, giving is the start of the holiday shopping season. That giving is always on a Thursday, so the day after is a Friday. This day has come to be known as Black Friday. It has been the this is shopping day of, of the year since 2005. Excellent. All right, Ileana, continue, please. So remember, Black Friday is after Thanksgiving, and Thanksgiving is always on a Thursday. Thanksgiving was yesterday in the States, all right? And today is Friday, so today is Black Friday. Ileana, continue. Most stores offer great deals on Black, on Black Friday. They open their doors in the wee hours of the morning. They try to attract shoppers with big discounts. Some items like TVs are much cheaper than usual. The stores may even lose money on these items. They hope that shoppers will buy gifts for other people while they are in the store. All right, very good. Do you know what wee hours are? What are the wee hours? It says here, uh, they open their doors in the wee hours. Super early, super early hours, all right? Like some of them, they open at five in the morning, six in the morning, all right? And people are waiting in line. It's crazy because in the States, Many people wait outside like during the night so they can go first inside to the store. All right, so that's, it's crazy. All right, let's continue here. Uh, let me see. Who wants to continue reading this one? Me, teacher. Okay. Black Friday is a great time to get good deals. The problem is that there are not enough low price items to go around. Each store may only have a few. These items are in high demand. People stand in long lines to get such, such great deals. They may lie up hours before a store opens. They may be hoping to get a low price on a TV or laptop, but not everyone who wants one will get one. Some people leave disappoint, disappointed. Disappointed, yeah, disappointed. Thank you. That's why they make long lines because they want to get in first, so they can be able to, or they are able to get what they want. All right. If you come later, maybe there will be no more computers or no more games or no more, I don't know, shoes or whatever. All right. Very good. Someone else to read uh, the other paragraph. Me. Okay. The situation can be tense. Uh, can be tense. <laughs> Uh, some Black Friday events have been violent. 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 Yes. Um, large, uh, eager crowd have tr trampled uh, workers. Uh -huh. 
fights have broken out our toys or people cutting in line. Cutting in line, yeah. Cutting in line, yes. Uh, people have shot one another over parking spots, um, but, but uh, most oh. Black Friday even are safe and fun. Still, uh, if you play, you plan and going, expect large crews and a bit of shopping. Shopping, shopping is like empujándose, you know, because there's like okay, like a lot of people go there, like and maybe not this year because of COVID and everything, but the previous years, many people go out there and they shop, right? So they trample workers, like they push them, or they're like you know, woo, 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 kind of thing, all right? Eager crowds, do you understand the word eager? Like excited, you know, they're so excited. They're like, yeah, they're like almost like to the point of hysteria. They're like crazy here, all right? Very good, let's continue here. Uh, someone to read this, this paragraph right here for me. Me teacher. Yes, please. So where does the name Black Friday come from? It was first used in Philadelphia in the 1950? 50s, yes, 1950s. 50s. Mm -hmm. uh, the police called this Black Friday because of the heavy traffic it drew. In the 1960s, mm -hmm. stores tried to rename the day Big Friday. It didn't it didn't stick. The name Black Friday continued to spread across the country. It seems that is here to stay. All right, thank you. The last paragraph. Someone to read the last paragraph. Me? Yes, thank you. <clears throat> now people all over the country take part in the event known as Black Friday. It is even spreading to other parts of the world. The store had held Black Friday even in the UK, yeah. Australia and Brazil since um, 2012. 2012, yes. Mm -hmm. oh, 2012. <laughs> 12. In Costa Rica, Black Friday is now out Viernes Negro. Mm -hmm. And in Mexico, a store offered an annual mm -hmm. weekend of discounts. <clears throat> they call it El Buen, el buen Fin, fin uh -huh. the good weekend in yeah. Spanish. I guess the large, the, the language, language, the language, language, I guess the language of saving is universal. Excellent. Universal. Very good. Okay. So Black Friday, they gave the name Black Friday because this was a phenomenon that it happened in the 1950s. All right. Many people started going shopping that day and the traffic was horrible. Imagine the cities, I don't know, in Philadelphia in the 1950s with many, many people and many, many cars. So the police said, oh no, it's a Black Friday because it was like a lot of people and it was super crowded and they just came up with the name, all right? Some people, remember that, um, remember how Exa said, oh, it talks about like related to slaves and everything? Some people got offended by the name because Black Friday is a little bit racist, all right? So they're like, mm, Black Friday, let's try to change the name, all right? But it was like after 10 years trying to change the name, it became almost impossible, all right? So Black Friday, the name as such, it's not gonna change, all right? And it's funny because people are here in this um, reading, they say that in Costa Rica, they call it Viernes Negro, which is the perfect translation. But here, for example, we don't change that. I mean, we don't translate it. We just know it as Black Friday. All right, so like in many countries, we have adopted this tradition, all right, of the states with the same name, all right? So that is the story behind Black Friday, all right? Do you remember which store 
brought Black Friday to El Salvador? Which one was the first store that had the Black Friday fever? Curacao. Yes, La Curacao. That was, they were the first ones. All right, and there was a big deal, you know, and after La Curacao, everybody. <laughs> All right, and now, as I said at the beginning, it's not only on Friday, but it's, I don't know, the weekend, the week, the month. So it's crazy now, it's Black November. <laughs> All right, it's not, in, it's not only one day anymore. But anyway, that's what we do here in El Salvador because we are like special. <laughs> All right, so I wanted you to, um, to read that. Very good. Guys, we're about to finish. Please, 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 I want to remind you about the platform. You need to finish the platform this weekend, all right? So I don't see you tomorrow. I don't see you Sunday. I will see you Monday, but Monday everything needs to be completed, all right? If you're finished, thank you so much for that. I'm going to take attendance right now. So you guys may go to work and get ready for like a new day. Carla Beatriz Aguilar. What happened? Uh, no, present. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> All right, very good. Um, Veronica Beatriz Celso. Present, teacher. Thank you. Osmani Exabu de Leon. Present. Vania Itzel Deras de Cañas. I'm here. Thank you. Blanca Estela Marroquín. Present. Franklin de Jesus Martinez. Present. Thank you. Carla Joana Martinez. Present. Super Giovanni Alberto Orantes Flores. Present. Thank you. Gabriela Beatriz Reyes Ramirez. Present. Very good. Dalila, oh no, Dalila Estela Silva Moran. We had perfect attendance. <laughs> Dalila, all right. Maria Araceli Silva Moran. No, 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 I'm sorry. Maria Araceli Gonzalez Flores, sorry. Present. Thank you, Araceli. I'm sorry. I, I switched the names here. Sinia Elizabeth Mejia. All right, Sinia. Um, Sofia Guadalupe Hernandez. Sinia, where's where's Sinia? With me, Vero. Oh, okay, you. All right, nice. Thank you, Sinia. Uh, Sofia Guadalupe Hernandez. Present. Very good. Um, Juan Carlos Molina. Martinez. All right. Um, Claudia Iliana Casun. Present. Brenda Lucia Rosales Guzman. Karen Lise Reyes. And Francisco Isaac Cabrera. All right, very good. Okay, guys, thank you so much for joining me this whole week. I do appreciate it. Have a very nice weekend. If you don't have to go out, please don't go out. If you're gonna do some shopping, do it online. All right, try to avoid crowded places. I'll see you Monday. Have a safe weekend. All right. Thank you. And work on the platform, please. Thank you, teacher. Thank All right, you, guys. Bye, thank teacher. you. Bye-bye. Have a wonderful Bye. weekend. Bye. 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 Bye-bye.